This is the chemistry of e-juice. E-juice is the liquid that people put inside electronic cigarettes. Um, the two main ingredients are vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol. Um, vegetable glycerin is an organic extract from vegetable oils and animal fat. Um, it's used as a sugar replacement. Um, it's very thick and syrup-like, and it's colorless and odorless. Um, propylene glycol, it's not as thick, but it is also colorless and odorless. Um, it's made from propylene oxide. Um, it also can be converted from glycerol as a biodiesel byproduct. Um, biodiesel refers to a vegetable oil or animal fat based uh, diesel fuel. All right, and then another ingredient is your flavoring. I'm using just hard candy flavoring um, that's just made with some PG uh, water and artificial flavoring. Um, and then another ingredient is liquid nicotine. Um, I'm not using liquid nicotine because of how dangerous it is. It can cause nicotine poisoning, which causes nausea, vomiting, headaches, dizziness, um, muscle weakness, uh, and respiratory, respiratory failure. Um, alright, so first what you need to do is, since I'm using a 10 milliliter uh, bottle to put this in, um, I'm going to use 10% flavoring, which means I need one milliliter of flavoring. Alright, so there's the flavoring. Alright, and then you're going to have to determine like how much vegetable glycerin and propylene glycol you want to use. Um, the VG, uh, if you use a higher percentage of that, it produces more vapor. Um, but if you use more PG, it produces uh, a stronger flavor. Um, so I'm just going to do 50-50 because it's easier. Um, so 50% of 9 is 4.5. So I'm going to use 4.5 milliliters of propylene glycol. I'm just going to put that in there. Right, and then I'm going to wipe it off. And then I'm going to use... 4.5 milliliters of vegetable glycerin. And since this is so thick, it does take a while to suck it up in a syringe. Alright, so there's that. And then you just put that in there. And just get all that in there. And then you put the cap on it. And then just shake it up. And then there's your e-juice. Um, if you want to know more about e-juice, please visit chemistryslife.com. And thanks for watching.